What's up everybody, it's your boy DJ HD. I decided I'm gonna do a review, a video review of the PV, PV215s. Again, that's the PV, PV215. Uh, pardon the condition of my garage here. But uh, <clears throat> I uh, decided to make a review because I haven't really seen too many on these particular speakers when I was researching two double fifteens uh, to purchase. Um, I will say that these speakers are awesome, um, especially for your tops. Um, I mean, they have some thump uh, for, you know, your uh, 15s. I mean, they're, they're a double 15 cab, so they have some thump. Um, you know, if you're like in a rock band or, you know, you're doing metal or anything like that, this would be perfect for that. Um, I'm a mobile DJ. I do a lot of private events, a lot of weddings, um, big motorcycle events, uh, anywhere from 300 people up to a thousand. And these two speakers are great. Uh, the coverage is awesome. I don't really use them without uh, a big sub setup. So uh, these are my uh, double 18. Uh, custom cabinets. I'm actually going to replace them. I'm thinking about getting the JBL uh, SRX 828s. Um, either that, I mean, they're like $1,600 to $2,000 a piece, non powered, of course. Um, or I'm going to get the PVSP 218s. Those um, have very similar power ratings to the JBLs and um, they're pro grade tour uh, subs. And uh, they, they cost a little bit less, about $1,300 per cab. So I got to make my decision on that. But back to these PVs. So what I really like about them, first of all, they can handle a lot of power. Lots and lots and lots of power. Uh, the RMS rating on them, I think, is 700 watts at 4 ohms per cab. And it has, I'll show you the back, it has a... It has a uh, quarter inch input, so it's uh, it's it's. I mean, it's it's pro grade. It's very loud, very loud. I'm gonna play a little something in a minute so you can get an example. And the reason I like them is because if you EQ or cross over your system correctly, that's when you get the best sound out of them. If you just plug up two amps or an amp to them. And you don't, you know, set the 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 gains, the gain and the EQ right, and and remove a lot of the bass, then these cabs won't be for you. They're not for you. So what I what I have here is I have a quarter inch going into a Speakon setup, and um, they can handle a lot of power, as I mentioned. I um, the first uh, setup I had was. I was using uh, this Crown um, XLS402, and it sounded pretty good. You know, it sounded good, and and um, but what happened was the PVs actually were too powerful for it. Uh, that's not a, a very powerful amp. Um, and then I um, was using my Behringer EP4000, uh, EP4000. This amp, I'm, I'm going to do another review on it. This this uh, Behringer EP4000, folks, is an awesome, awesome amp. I hear a lot of people uh, talk badly about Behringer, but I, I tell you what, uh, besides the weight, because it's about 37 pounds for this amp, man, the power is very, very muscular, very muscular and strong. Um... And clean. You're talking about 2,000 watts uh, per side at I think it's four ohms. Incredible. I mean, and and I believe that's what it pushes out. Um, there was a clear difference going from this amp to this one. Um, but uh, what I've done here is I've uh, I went ahead and and upgraded my, uh, my my rack setup to all Crown XTI. So I'm actually using the XTI 2002 to push uh, uh, the PVs. The PVs, like I said, um, I think you can get them for $300 a piece, $299. If you're going to be running them with a sub, 
get these speakers. Get them. Uh, they are strong, loud. They have a 1.75 inch um, uh, driver for the highs, and um, that's that's actually larger than most other double eighteens with uh, or double fifteens rather. Um, even even whether you're talking uh, EVs or uh, JBLs, that driver is actually larger, and it's very very powerful. Uh, so I'll play a little something so you guys can can hear what I'm talking about, and I'll play it <clears throat> first uh, just with the highs, and then I'll um and then I'll bring in bring in the bass. But again, I've got the crossover set um, uh, set up where uh, it's, it's it cuts out a lot of the bass. Oh, and another thing, another thing. Um, one thing I really like about these these crowns, uh, these XTI twos is they come with uh, high Q uh, band manager uh, software. So, so it has software where you can actually go in and, uh, and, and set up uh, the amp. And it's pretty cool because right now I only have one of the three amps set up. But see, like this is, this is supposed to look like an amp rack. And if you have uh, one, two, three or more amps, it will actually display here Crown XTIs and you can actually just click on each amp and go in and modify the setup of uh, the configuration so like you know right now I'm um, you just double click on it and then it'll give you the options just like on the front of the amp what you wanna uh, do so uh, this, I know the light is probably in the way there but um, I'll, I'll play a little something and let you hear what I'm talking about. Again, I th I've taken all the bass out, or most of the bass out, I've uh, EQ'd it out. guys this is your boy DJHD I highly recommend the PV PV 215s and practice and enjoy <laughs> 